Hello, good day to you, my dear student in Science, Technology, and Society. We are now in our Lesson 5, which is the historical antecedents in the course of science and technology, medieval or the Middle Ages, modern times, and Philippine inventions. By the end of the discussion, you should have first discussed the interactions between science and technology and society throughout history, discuss how scientific and technological developments affect society and the environment, and lastly, identify the paradigm shifts in history. So last time, we already finished the different ancient civilizations such as the Sumerian, Babylonian, the Greek, the Roman, and Chinese civilizations, including also the Egyptian. Okay, now we proceed to the another, another historical timeline in which science and technology progress throughout our time, affecting our society. The Medieval or Middle Ages The start of the Middle Ages was marred by massive inventions and migrations. Wars were prevalent during this time that caused decline in population. The medieval period of European history between the fall of the Roman Empire and the beginning of the Renaissance are sometimes referred to us as the Dark Ages. Why? Because there are a lot of happenings, okay? Also, the, the different diseases, illnesses, okay, began to spread out through Europe, okay? Hunger and other social problems arise. Great technology was needed in the field of weaponry, navigation, mass food and farm production including health, after which a significant rise in population happened which propelled the increase in trade and commerce. So there is now a boom in the economy wherein there is an increase in population, mass production is needed, there are a lot of uh, wars, okay, territorial disputes okay, that are needed to supply with weaponry, thus technological advance, advancements became prominent. Some of most innovative came from this period, such as the printing press. Johann Gutenberg was able to invent the printing press, a more reliable way of printing using a cast type made of extracted fruit juices firmly pressed into a piece of paper. So before there is only the codex, okay, the bound books. Now there is a greater production of printed materials using the printing press invented by Johann Gutenberg. It was invented to address the need for publishing books to spread information on a faster rate and accessible to individuals who could not even write. So there is now a spread of media throughout the European region and around the world. Also, microscope. Another invention in the Middle Ages is the microscope. With the massive migration and, ur and urbanization, people transferred to polluted and populated urban areas, which resulted to the spread of various illnesses and diseases. To understand the cause of these sicknesses, a way of invention through the use of device that could magnify things visible to the eye was invented. Because of the growing illnesses and diseases, they'd like to seek the cause okay, or the pathogen of these uh, diseases that are spreading throughout the urban areas. Guided by the principles used in for the invention of eyeglasses, years. Zacharias Janssen was able to develop the first compound microscope. With this device, people were able to observe organisms that were normally unseen by the naked, which was a key in discovering new means in preventing and curing various illnesses. So this is a breakthrough on the field of medicine and, of course, the field of microbiology. Telescope Telescope is also one of the important discoveries at this uh, era because of the age of exploration. The need for nautical inventions 
was very high in order to explore more lands which can become sources of uh, raw materials. The invention of the telescope, an optical instrument that helps in the observation of remote objects, was a great help for navigators. During this time, together with the invention of compass, oars, and rudders that made sea traveling easier and faster. Likewise, war weapons because of territorial dispu disputes, invasions, and uh, for security and protection also. Since was, were spread, war spread during the Middle Ages, great developments in the weaponry technology also occurred. It both include offensive and defensive instruments. This includes crossbows, longbows, high walls and fortresses, iron body armors, and chain mail. Just like uh, the series that we are watching uh, in the in the internet, okay, in Netflix, so we are watching games of Game of Thrones, okay, and other battle movies, okay, during the Middle Ages. So that's it. Now we proceed to the modern times. Okay, the booming the booming world of population during the 19th century onwards demanded that more goods be produced at a faster rate. People needed efficient means of transportation and communication. Thus, all of this resulted to mass indus massive industrialization that led to complicated problems. One of the prominent uh, discoveries is pasteurization. The challenge to keep manufactured food from deteriorating was greater for dairy products, especially milk, since they spoil faster. To prevent food poisoning and other related illnesses, Louis Pasteur, a French scientist, found a way to, the, to solve the problem. He invented the process of pasteurization. Pasteurization is the process of heating dairy products to kill the harmful bacteria that allow them to spoil faster. Through this process, milk could be stored and consumed for a longer period. It also prevented illnesses caused by harmful bacteria. And even now and until now it is being the process is being used to preserve our dairy products like fresh milk and dairy products. Petroleum refinery. The modern times demanded better means of powering homes and transportation. At first, people used animal oils for generating light, but it could not keep the could not keep up the large demand. Thus, Samuel M. Kerr was able to invent kerosene by refining petroleum. Kerosene was later on referred to as the illuminating oil because it was used at first to provide lighting to homes. After some time, it was applied for heating purposes when electricity is now developed. The development of kerosene established the petroleum refinery industry and until now, it is a very big uh, industry because at present, petroleum is widely used in powering automobiles, factories, and power plants. But, uh, but until the, the, the introduction of electric-powered automobiles, okay, there's a continuous now decline, but most of people are still using okay, petroleum-powered automobiles. Telephone. The more people got connected by trade and exploration, the more they needed a way to easily maintain these connections and communicate in real time. Thus, the development of the telephone by Alexander Graham Bell was one of the most important inventions at that time. Calculator. Although an earlier version of calculator had already been developed, modern times required a faster way to compute more complicated equations. Thus, computing devices must be easy to carry for day-to-day -day basis, just like a calculator. The creation of modern cal calculators resulted in the development of more complex processing machines like the computer. Computers. 
The first computers were used primarily for numerical calculations. However, as any information can be numerically encoded, people soon realized that computers are capable of general purposing, general purpose of information processing. And until now, there is a continuous progress, there is a continuous development on computers. Uh, now we proceed to some of the notable Philippine inventions. Despite being considered as developing country, the Philippines also contributes to the global advancement of science and technology. Many inventions and discoveries of Filipinos were built from indigenous materials or created to adapt to the harsh tropical environment that we are placed. Our geographical location is one of the antecedents of these inventions and discoveries. One of which is the Salamander Amphibus Tricycle. Due to flooding during rainy season, it is very difficult for tricycles to, tra to traverse the streets. To remedy the issue, H2O Technologies headed by Dominic N. Chung and Lamberto Armada together with chief designer Victor Atoy Liabe was able to invent the Salamander, an, in an amphibus Tricycle. Okay, very functional during flooding. Yeah, that will serve as a mode of transportation. What else? So we have the salt lamp. Electrification is one of the urgent needs of a developing country like the Philippines. Fortunately, a young Filipina inventor named Isa Miheno was able to invent a lighting system that utilizes a material abundant to the Philippines, which is salt water. She invented the sustainable alternative lighting or the salt lamp, an eco-friendly light source that runs on salt water. Medical incubator. A common problem in the Philippines is the high mortality rate of newborn baby babies caused by lack of available incubators, especially in the far-flung areas. Dr. Fedel Mundo, a Filipino pediatrician and the first Asian woman admitted to into Harvard Medical School, devised a medical incubator made from indigenous and cheap materials. It consists of a native laundry basket with hot water bottles inserted between baskets and a makeshift hood to allow oxygen circulation. And until now, the model or the medical incubator is a great help to premature babies. Okay. Mosquito ovicidal or larvicidal trap system. Dengue, a mosquito-borne viral illness, is endemic in tropical and subtropical areas, including the Philippines. This virus is usually transmitted by Aedes aegypti mosquito. In 2010, the Department of Science and Technology Industrial Technology Development Institute, or the DOSC ITDI, was able to introduce the mosquito ovicidal larvicidal trap system, also known as OL trap, that is lethal to mosquitoes but safe for human and the environment. Egyptnis. The jeepney dominated the Philippine streets that is considered as the primary mode of transportation. However, the diesel-powered jeepney produces large quantities of black smoke and is contributory to pollution. To conquer these disadvantages, the electric jeepney was developed, which powered by electricity. And that's it. There are other great inventions and developments that were made in the course of history that changed the world. Can you name other great discoveries? Ponder on. And thank you for listening. If there are any questions, clarifications, and other concerns, academic-related concerns, just message our class GC. Stay safe and God bless.